Hello, YouTube. Uh, it's been a while since I uh, did a video on this subject. I've been kind of waiting on Jonathan Cleck to do his uh, supposed proof that Satan fathered Cain, which isn't true. Um, you see here, I did a video uh, about a month ago entitled Jonathan Cleck Busted Lies and Twist Scriptures Part 1. And then right after that, Jonathan came out and said, I'm going to come out with conclusive proof that Satan fathered Cain with Eve and blah, blah, blah. So I've been kind of waiting, waiting, waiting. And then thanks to my friend Kelly, we were just having a little conversation over something else. And um, she brought up Jonathan and it kind of jogged my memory. Hey, I never, I promised to do a follow up and never did a follow up. So <clears throat> I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. But I just wanted to show, play a, a, a small portion of uh, a little video that I had done regarding Jonathan Cleck's false teaching, and then I'll get right into that, okay? So here we go. I hope you guys can hear this. You know, I started doing this video, and it looks like we got a storm coming in. I got bugs hitting me in the eyes and everything else. So, you know, hang in there with me, guys. And... Um, you know, this, this will help set the record straight on this false uh, serpent seed doctrine teaching by Jonathan Cleck and also the uh, the lie that Cain supposedly, uh, or Satan supposedly fathered Cain with Eve. Okay, so here we go. Then he says, pay attention, let the Dead Sea Scrolls tell you. And then he quotes allegedly from the Dead Sea Scrolls. And Adam knew his wife Eve, who was pregnant by Samuel, Satan. Uh, and she conceived the bear Cain, and he was like the heavenly beings, and not like earthly beings. And she said, I have gotten a man from the angel of the Lord. And he says, the Holy Spirit will lead you in what to think. All right. So I just want to point out really quick that this is total fiction. And, uh, you know, the, the Dead Sea Skulls says no such thing. It's a lie. Okay, real quick. That was a, in recapping, that was a comment that somebody had put on Jonathan's video. And um, I had actually did a screenshot of all that and, and saved it, I think. So... Anyway, just clarifying, Jonathan himself didn't say that particular portion. Somebody commented. But I did have a comment regarding that gentleman's statement. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and blow that out of the water right now. So, And um, this is from Mike Heiser's uh, website. And um, he says, this is your antidote for cyber twiddle, uh, or twaddle and misguided research about the ancient world. And uh, in his article, was Cain fathered by the devil? No way, extraterrestrials. And he explains that he gets more uh, emails on this and he can shake a stick at. And uh, he says it usually goes uh, something like this. And uh, he says, uh, basically, it's hogwash, okay, right here. It's just hogwash. And then he goes down, on down to say that Genesis 4-1 isn't even in the Dead Sea Scrolls. And he says, therefore, he said the Dead Sea Scrolls cannot uh, or don't preserve uh, this weird view of Cain's lineage. Now,
Incidentally, um, the Enoch that Cain uh, was responsible uh, for bearing with his wife is not the same Enoch that was uh, fathered by Jared. So I don't, I don't want to cause any confusion here. Um, here's just a little quick thing that I brought up for you guys because I figured it might confuse some people. But the other Enoch, the son of Jared, was the father of Methuselah. Um, and he was the one that uh, walked with God. So it's not the same Enoch that was fathered by uh, Cain. Just to let you know. Okay, so getting back to this real quick, finishing up. Okay, so anyway, now we're going to get back uh, to part two, as I promised. And, um, you know, again, my eyes are giving me trouble. My glasses are jacked up. They're too weak, and I, they, they, they kind of worn and all scratched up and stuff. And um, so I'm going to have my computer read this. I apologize, but it's going to do a better job than I could do. So I get some more glasses. I tried putting some rubbing compound on it. <laughs> Following YouTube videos, it didn't work. So deal with this for me. Or with me, folks. I'm sorry. So here we go. To his cane, the devil seed. One of the more weighty arguments used is that cane is not found in the genealogy, reinforcing the reason he is from the devil. This is truly ridiculous as Abel is not in it either. Using this way of interpreting scripture one would have to believe he is from the devil also. This is teaching from the silence of the scripture, not from what it actually teaches. Arnold Murray and others say, Cain was not of Adam's genes. He was not Adam's son. That's why you will not find him listed in the genealogy. Gen. 5 excludes Cain and starts with Seth because it is the genealogy of Noah. This is why Cain is not included. Gen. 425 Seth is the appointed seed in place of Abel. Genesis 5. 4. After Seth was born, Adam lived 800 years and had other sons and daughters. Why are these other sons and daughters not named in Adam's genealogy? Are they also sons and daughters of Satan? Of course not, and neither is Cain. God is giving us the line of Seth revealing the messianic line, whom Jesus Christ came through. Cain's genealogy is found in General 4 16 25. It ends with V. 24 if Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, then Lamech seventy-sevenfold, because Cain's lineage produced another murderer, Lamech, who also happened to be the first polygamist recorded in scripture. This is where Arnold Murray's error begins and he then tracks into what he calls the line of Cain, Cainites. But scripture teaches there were many lines of humanity, not just two. The reason Cain is not mentioned and Seth is mentioned is for the same reason not all offsprings of Adam are mentioned. The line of the Messiah is being traced back to beginning. Example, some of Cain's descendants are mentioned in Genesis 4, 17, 20 to Gen. 5, 7, 13, 16, 26 Cain's descendants, Seth's descendants, and the descendants of their kin populated the earth. Remember Adam and Eve had other children. J. 
Genesis 5, 4. They were twins from two different fathers. We have two completely different Hebrew words for twin and brother. Arnold Murray insists they are twins. The Bible says they are brothers. Certainly one can be a brother without being a twin. The Bible uses the word for brother, not twin. The word for twins in Hebrew is Teowim. Strong's Concordance number 8380 from 8382. A twin. In plural only. Literally or figuratively. Used in Gen 25, 24 and 38, 27. If this were the case the Bible would make the point clear but it does the opposite. The Hebrew word for brother. Strong's Concordance number 251. Is Ach, which is a primitive word. A brother. Used in the widest sense of literal relationship and metaphorical affinity or resemblance. Like one. KJV. Another. Brother. Lie. Kindred. Like. Other. Compare also the proper names beginning with R. Ahi. Ach brother. A. Brother of same parents. B. Half brother. Same father. C. Relative. Kinship. Same tribe. D. Each to the other. Reciprocal relationship. E. Figuratively. Of resemblance. The were not twins. So this next argument of heteropaternal superfecundation cannot apply. Heteropaternal superfecundation twins are defined as two young who are simultaneously born from one mother. Encyclopedia Britannica. It occurs when two eggs are fertilized by different fathers, having intercourse with more than one man in a short time span. There are seven recorded cases. Six are not mentioning another man as the father except for one possibility, which is not proven. It also is reported that fertility drugs played a part in many of the newer cases. The percentage of this is extremely rare estimated to be 0.000000015%. Using these figures in the population it is 9 in 6 billion. This distraction should not be entertained as a possibility as the Bible told us who begot whom. Can the DNA of this creature, serpent, a completely different species copulate with a human being? Or did Satan use the creature for the temptation for Eve to eat fruit, a non-human and cannot be used to fertilize a human egg? The serpent was real. He was called one of God's creatures in the garden. God did not curse a symbol. Gen. 2.14. It is later we see the serpent is used to represent Satan, referring back to this first event, Adam and Eve mankind's. First parents were monogamous. Adam did not know any other than his wife, and Eve did not know anyone but her husband. Jesus referred to their marriage in MT. 19. 5 is the standard. If Eve was unfaithful Jesus could not say this. 1 Cor. 6.16. To make Eve a harlot is a demonic teaching. Gen 4. 1 Now Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, and said, I have acquired a man from the Lord. It does not say anywhere the serpent knew Eve. There is no such teaching from the scripture saying Cain had two fathers. This is not reading the scripture in context but making it a pretext it's made up from a fertile imagination. A revelation not from God by man's fallen imagination or is a Hebrew word is Yalad. 3205. A primitive root. To bear young. Causatively. To beget. Medically. To act as midwife. Specifically. To show lineage. KJV, bear, beget, birth, day, born, make to, bring forth, children, young, bring up, carve, child, come, be delivered, of a child, time of delivery, gender, hatch, labor, do the office of a, midwife, declare pedigrees, be the son of, woman in, woman that, travail, eth, ein woman, the Bible teaches Adam knew his wife and she conceived Cain. There is not a hint of another source. It is the same word used in Gen. 417 where Cain knew his wife. If Cain is from another source then it is applied to every other use of this word. When Eve conceived Cain. The Hebrew word is Hera. 2029. A primitive root. To be or become. Pregnant. Conceive. Literally or figuratively. KJV. Bean. Be with child. Conceive. Progenitor. There is a direct correlation to the one name that conceived the child. There is no room to guess. Again the same Hebrew word for bear, Yalad, is used for Abel as is for Cain. There is no reason to consider them as twins, nor conception from another source. There is every reason to not interpret it this way. On Abel 3254 Yaakov, a primitive root, to add or augment, often adverbial, to continue to do a thing, KJV, at 
X again, X anymore, X cease, X come more, and conceive again, continue, exceed, X further, X gather together, get more, give more over, X henceforth, increase, more and more, join, X longer, bring, do, make, much, put, X, the, much, yet, more, and more, proceed, further, prolong, put, be, stronger, X yet, Bible translations agree. Of general form, one Adam lay with his wife Eve, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. She said, With the help of the Lord I have brought forth a man, ASV, and the man, Adam, knew Eve his wife, and she conceived, and there came, and said, I have gotten a man with the help of Jehovah, the KJV, and Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived, and there came, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. You don't get a demon child from God or with his help, nor do you praise him for this. Notice also that she said she got a man not men as in plural or twins. Who knows better what took place Eve and the scriptural Branham or Murray? This becomes a matter of where someone wants to get their teaching from. The Bible clearly says, in Gen. 4, 1 and Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived, and there came so all the arguments for twins, fraternal or any other are moot. Then she bore again. This time his brother Abel. Notice the words bore again. The note makes it clear in verse 2. Later she gave birth to his brother Abel. Abel was born later, not as a twin. They would have been mentioned as twins. As in the example of Esau and Jacob if this had been the case. Again as previously mentioned the Hebrew does not allow for this. This is not just making up a doctrine from silence. But going against the clear teaching in scripture. It was from Adam the scripture clearly attributes Cain to not Satan. Gen 4.25 and Adam knew his wife again. And she bore a son and named him Seth. It says the very same thing for Seth. Gen 4.25 Adam knew his wife again. Since Adam knew his wife and conceived Seth. No one contests that it would be anyone else but Adam. Why do they contest the same language used for Cain now Adam knew Eve his wife. And she conceived and bore Cain. General 4. 1. It becomes clear that it was Adam who was the father of Cain. The same words and intent are used for both. Gen. 4.17 also uses the same phrase. As Cain knew his wife and she conceived. This word, knew, in its context means intimacy and is used consistently throughout the scripture for intercourse. These conceptions all took place outside the garden. Cain. Abel. Seth. The Bible teaches that Adam knew his wife after the fall, not before. They were not the same event. The scripture leaves no room to think that Satan was the father of Cain, because it specifically states it was Adam that was the father for both Seth, Abel and Cain. If he is not the father of Cain, then he is not the father of Abel either, nor Seth. Those who promote the serpent seed teaching divorce the words from their context and then use it to make up a doctrine from silence because it sounds profound. It is, and it is also demonic. Adam and Eve had other children but all of these are not mentioned either in the lineage. Why? Because they have nothing to do with the lineage of the Messiah except one Seth. This is the same type of argument we hear from the Roman Catholic Church on Jesus not having brothers or sisters. There is another argument used. Some people connect the punishment of being saved and childbearing to Eve's unfaithfulness. But it says she fell into deception, not into adultery. It tells us she took of its fruit and ate. She also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked. General 3, 6-7. It is a they, not a her in eating the fruit. They both ate the same fruit and they both shared the same effect. Sin and death, which makes Adam as impure as Eve. Both Adam and Eve are mentioned in the transgression and in the punishment. The punishment. God judged what they were in authority over. Adam the ground, Eve in childbearing, both received the penalty for eating from the forbidden tree, sin and death. Genesis 3.16 I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. Eve was known as the mother of all living. Instead of this being a joyful experience it will be in pain every child Adam and Eve had was from this state. There will be increased menstrual pain and in childbirth there will be pain. Because a sentence of physical death is pronounced on both of them, not just Eve. They must populate the earth for the continuity of life. 
Also, there will be contention as husband and wife where she will be subordinate as he becomes the head of the family. Yep, there is definitely contention between men and women. I bet you agree with that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I just wanted to keep my word. Um, just wanted to point you guys, you know, to my channel really quick. I've got all these different playlists, and one playlist that you might be interested in, I've got some 84 separate videos, the Sons of God and the Nephilim playlist that you guys might find very, very interesting. Also, you might want to check out my latest video that I've done, uh, Christian Deck Stackers and False Teachers. Something really, really quick I just want to bring up is I'm seeing over and over and over and over again. Uh, channel owners are removing comments that oppose their point of view, even if it's a sound biblical argument. I mean, in a lot of cases, they're not even replying to a uh, challenge to something that they've taught or said. Uh, they're just removing the comments and banning, you know, the person or ghost blocking them, giving them an illusion that they're still there but they can't comment anymore on their channel. And Google and YouTube play hand in hand with this because if you go to the channel, if you're signed in, it'll show your comment there and you're scratching your head, well why haven't I been getting any feedback on this? This is a good hot topic. And you're not getting any feedback but if you sign out and go back to the video you'll notice that your comments really not there so it's illusion it's a con job folks and um, so Google and YouTube are in collusion with the channel owners on this I understand you know Google YouTube maybe they just want to keep the peace and stop the fighting and stuff but you know we're commanded to tell the truth teach the truth and um, you know that's that's what I'm gonna do come hell or high water that's what I'm gonna do and I, I suggest you guys do the same thing. So with that, love, peace, joy, happiness, and uh, you know, get ready, prepare. We've got hard times coming, and do your best to wake as many up as you can because you know you're gonna be held accountable. You guys that know, you can't unknow now. Okay, so you need to share. Okay, it's part of the Great Commission. So please, please, please do your part. Just because you've received salvation, you know, it's not every man for themselves, all right? So uh, fulfill the requirements and do what's right and share the good news and the truth. All righty? Take care. Love you. If I can help you in any way, please let me know. That's what we're here for. Take care now. Bye-bye. God bless you.